Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. As the MotoGP series heads to the Austrian Grand Prix, both Peko Bagnaia and Inia Bastianini are gearing up for a crucial weekend at the Spielberg circuit. With the championship battle heating up, Bagnaia has his sights set on reclaiming the top spot in the standings. As the MotoGP season progresses, Carlo Pernat has offered his insights on the recent Silverstone Grand Prix, Ducati's dominance, and the future of the championship. According to Pernat, Ducati's current superiority could extend well into the next few years. Maverick Vinales has reflected on his achievements with Aprilia and shared his aspirations for the future, as he prepares to join KTM in 2025. Vinales is eyeing a historic milestone, and has expressed both gratitude and ambition as his time with Aprilia comes to an end. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Peko Bagnaia, currently trailing in the championship standings, is focused on closing the gap and regaining his position at the top. After a challenging previous race weekend where he couldn't secure a victory, Bagnaia acknowledges the importance of the upcoming races. I'm happy to be back racing in Austria. The Spielberg circuit is one of my favorite tracks and we've always been competitive in the past. In general, it's a track where Ducatis have always been very fast, so I hope that many riders will be able to fight for the top positions. Quote from Peko Bagnaia. Bagnaia aims to use the Austrian round as a springboard to climb back to the top of the standings. His strategy will be to maximize performance at a track known for favoring Ducati bikes. Our approach to the weekend will be the same as always. Now the objective will be to try to get back to the top of the general classification and then try to open up a gap in the championship in the next races. Inia Bastianini arrives at the Austrian Grand Prix with a strong momentum following his double victory at Silverstone. His recent performances have boosted his confidence as he prepares for another competitive weekend. I have always liked the Austrian track and it is definitely Ducati friendly. I also got my first MotoGP pole position here in 2022. At Silverstone, we were able to be fast from Friday and even qualifying was better than in previous Grands Prix. So I think I can start like this here in Austria and find the same feeling that allowed me to be so competitive in England. Quote from Inia Bastianini. Bastianini is optimistic about his performance at Spielberg, citing a positive feeling with his bike and a strong work ethic. Although he is not focused on the championship fight at the moment, he remains determined to stay consistent and competitive. The feeling with the bike is there and we are working well so I am confident that we can do well here in Spielberg. I don't want to think about the championship right now, the fight for first place is not realistic yet, but we will work hard to remain consistent and always be up there in the race. Quote from Inia Bastianini. Both Ducati riders, Bagnaia and Bastianini, are set to leverage their strong performances and favorable track conditions at Spielberg. Ducati has historically excelled at the Red Bull ring, which could play a crucial role in their championship campaigns. As Peko Bagnaia aims to close the gap in the standings and Inia Bastianini looks to build on his recent success, the Austrian Grand Prix promises to be a pivotal moment in the MotoGP season. Stay tuned for what's sure to be an exciting race weekend at the Spielberg circuit. The British Grand Prix was marked by exciting performances and notable outcomes. Inia Bastianini had a standout weekend, securing victories in both the sprint and the main race, which significantly impacted the championship standings. Peko Bagnaia, despite a fall in the sprint, managed to recover with a third-place finish on Sunday. It was Inia Bastianini's weekend. He only needed to get pole position. Inia has scored 37 points which are very important and show the real value of the rider. There are 10 Grand Prix left, 370 points. There is time, he can still fight for the title. Quote from Carlo Pernat. Pernat believes Ducati's dominance in the championship is likely to continue for the foreseeable future. According to him, 
Ducati's technical edge could keep them ahead of the competition until at least 2027. Ducatis are unbeatable right now, five of them in the lead and eight in the top 10. With the change in regulations, Ducati might not have any rivals until 2027. Although the other manufacturers are working, on a technical level they are not there yet. Despite Ducati's current strength, Pernat noted that next year's rider lineup changes could impact their dominance. With Jorge Martin and Marco Bezzecchi moving to Aprilia and Inia Bastianini joining KTM, the dynamics within Ducati and the overall competition could shift. The riders could make the difference and reduce the gap with Ducati, referring to the significant changes in Ducati's rider lineup. Pernat also commented on other key riders and teams. Pedro Acosta's performance at Silverstone was praised, and he is seen as a potential threat to Ducati's supremacy. Meanwhile, Marc Marquez's performance, which he himself admitted was less than stellar at Silverstone, was also analyzed. Pedro Acosta woke up once again, good for KTM because the others are not there. Marc Marquez did what he could, he always said he didn't like Silverstone. Pernat expressed disappointment with Aprilia's performance at Silverstone, highlighting a lack of expected results from Maverick Vinales and Alex Espargaro. He also critiqued Ducati's decision to bring Marc Marquez on board, suggesting it might disrupt team dynamics. Perhaps Ducati's decisions were hasty. They could have waited until September. The agreement has already been made, but it could be detrimental to the internal balance of the team. Despite Ducati's current dominance, Pernat remains optimistic about the title race. With 10 Grand Prix remaining, he believes the championship battle will be intense and could extend to the final round in Valencia. This title fight will go down to the wire in Valencia, with more than just two protagonists than last year. It will be a great championship in spite of everything and it will be decided in Valencia, Pernat concluded. As the MotoGP season continues, Ducati's current strength is evident, but the competition is far from over. With several key riders and teams looking to challenge Ducati's dominance, the remainder of the season promises to be thrilling. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis as the championship unfolds. Maverick Vinales is set to join KTM Tech 3 in 2025, and with this move, he could become the only rider in MotoGP history to win races with four different brands. Currently, Vinales has secured victories with Suzuki, Yamaha, and Aprilia, and a win with KTM would complete this remarkable achievement. I think I can be the only one in history to win with four bikes. Obviously, a good goal is to bet, which is what I did. But I believe in myself and my instinct tells me to go for it. I'm not afraid. Quote from Maverick Vinales. Vinales has already achieved significant success with Aprilia, including a victory in Austin. He views this accomplishment as fulfilling his current objectives and is looking forward to new challenges. I think that with the victories I closed the circle on Aprilia. So my objective since April is done. With this I feel totally free to go. Vinales reflects on his time with Aprilia, discussing the challenges he faced and the improvements made over the years. He acknowledges the difficulties he encountered with the bike setup but remains grateful for the progress achieved. I couldn't understand why it took me so long to win with Aprilia. In 2022, the bike was very good, but I wasn't able to do it. In 2023, we found some things with Manuel, and once we changed that, we started to do good results. Vinales told by Motosan. Despite his success, Vinales is moving on from Aprilia to seek new opportunities. He expresses his motivation to be at the front of the grid and his decision to switch teams reflects his desire to achieve top results. To keep getting good results, maybe it would have been easier if I stayed. But I want to be at the front. And maybe, who knows, maybe I can, maybe not. As Vinales prepares to leave Aprilia, he expresses his gratitude for the opportunities provided and his commitment to helping the team achieve success in the remaining part of the season. I am very grateful for the opportunity that Aprilia has given me. I will give my best and try to help them a lot in the second part of the season. Vinales also compares Aprilia with Ducati, 
noting the consistency of Ducati's performance, and expressing hope that Aprilia can close the gap and become more competitive. Ducati's biggest difference is consistency. They are able to be constantly on track very well, especially in the race. We are missing the second part of the race. Vinales concludes with his aspirations for the future, emphasizing his goal to compete at the highest level and potentially end his time with Aprilia on a high note. Saying goodbye in the top three will be fantastic. I am dreaming perhaps too much because I need to read really big names. But yes, it will be really good. Vinales concluded. Maverick Vinales is setting ambitious goals for his future, aiming for a historic achievement with KTM while reflecting positively on his time with Aprilia. As the season continues, all eyes will be on his transition and performance with his new team. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.